Rookie D YouTube. It's the 14th of August, 2021. This is the third video on the 1967 Toro Golf Master, the 36 volt electric cart. One of the uh, most advanced golf carts that's ever been made. Um, it has uh, swivel and adjustable seats, center console, chrome steering column that will adjust to drive it from the center position left or right. It's got a brake pedal on both sides, a gas pedal in the middle. Um, it's very dirty still. I haven't even washed it. That's uh, on the agenda for today. The tires and wheels that are on it were just some rollers that I had off of my, I think they're off my 88 DS uh, club car. They bolt on, but they're much wider and taller than uh, stock and so they rub the bumper etc but I needed to put them on something so I could move it around we got the batteries in on the last video we got it running if you haven't checked it out to uh, find out on my playlist there and check that one out um, but I needed to get the wheels off of this so I could take them get them powder coated and get the new tires put on and here they are they're beautiful spent about 150 bucks getting them powder coated and another 150 bucks um, or 160 something like that getting new tires put on so they are ready to be installed I was just fiddling I pulled a lug nut off of this wheel um, to see what size lug nuts they are because I haven't ordered chrome ones for it I have one and they are half inch uh, lug nuts so I'll order some chrome ones for it today or tomorrow or something so why do you say we get these wheels put on and uh, we'll see what she looks like with the new wheels put on and maybe we'll throw it in the trailer and run it to the car wash and uh, give this thing a bath. We could uh, really soak those seats in some cleaner um, so when we bring it back we can uh, you know, scrub those seats down a little bit. Yeah, it would be really nice to get this reupholstered. Probably will. Um, but uh, not now. In the meantime, we'll just get them clean. We'll pressure wash that mat to car wash. So the floor mat's as clean as it could be. We might recoat that with something. Maybe uh, you know some spray rubber or something. Might look good. Somebody has applied a three quarter inch wood spacer there. Not sure why. Um, if I take it out, it might figure out why. But I don't think batteries, golf cart batteries, have changed much in. 45 years however old this thing is um, so I don't think there's too much height difference and I'm not sure why they did that certainly got some scuffs and scratches on them certainly uh, a candidate for a paint job but uh, we're getting ahead of ourselves so let's get these wheels changed shall we I'll bring you back when I get something to show you well we got them changed I actually had to grind the powder coat off of the front wheel the hub where it goes over the hub too tight so I wire brushed the hub down and they still after I got rid of the powder coat they were still tight hub centered right so what do you say we uh, take it for a little drive now that I can steer it all the way we've got the big ones off yeah this would not be a good candidate for big t wheels and tires they just uh, not gonna fit or they'd look silly these almost look too small but whatever I do have the hubcaps for these but they're just not in good enough shape to use um, we'll see how we what we end up with see how they look like I get some chrome lug nuts on it get those ordered I'll set you up over here and we'll take it for a little drive right
Okay. Enough playing. Let's take it to get it washed. I uh, probably it's gonna probably be tomorrow. I'm gonna go meet my dad for lunch. I might go to the races tonight and uh, revisit this tomorrow. For you, you're just a few seconds away. All right, it's the next day. It is Sunday. What is the 15th? 14th? Shoot, I don't know. Anyway, we got to take this thing down to the car wash. The wheels are growing on me. I think I, I didn't get the uh, lug nuts ordered yet, but it will. We'll just clean up the center hubs, paint them white, get some dust caps for the front. I think they'll be fine. Hate to put hub caps on wheels. I just spent $150 to powder coat, you know what I mean? Um, I think we'll load this on a trailer. I emptied out the little cubby holes so for that battery bolt hold down gizmo, which they never painted in sight. I guess we can see what the original color was. I'll show you the hub caps items that were in the those storage deals. There's the chrome caps. There's a full set of four, but every one of them's dented up and scratched up and rust. A couple of battery cables. We didn't use those, obviously. So, uh, not going to use those. But I'll keep them because they were original. I'm sure someone with some talent could restore those. Um, so let's get this thing loaded on the trailer, which is ready. Then uh, we'll spray her down with some simple green. Yeah. It's actually quite a comfortable cart. So to go reverse, you have to hold this because it's a spring-loaded affair. Hit the gas. And when you're filming, you don't have a spare hand for turning the wheel. It's also very quiet. Except when the door is shut. Forward. Ah, oh, yeah. On the trailer under its own power, first time. Spin the tires, why don't you? Woohoo. All right, and then to lock the brake, you push it all the way down. Turn off the key. There we go. All right, bumper just clears. So we'll get this tied down and we'll take it to the car wash. All right, I keep Simple Green in a garden sprayer. Works out really good. It's a really good all around cleaner, good for the environment, all that. We might as well hose the tracker down while we're there so I'll hit the tires with the Simple Green while we're at it. <laughs>
sorry. Let me get the tracker. Let's go to the car wash. Alright, let's get her clean.
Okay, what do you think? I'll uh, hit those seats with some white wall cleaner and a brush. They'll do pretty good. Got the big stuff off of them here. All right, got the dirt embedded out of that aqua colored rubber mat. Yeah, be acceptable. All right, I'm gonna get the tracker real quick. You don't wanna see that. I'll be back with you a little bit. All right, we're back to barn. Um, we're gonna go after these seats a little bit. You can see the um, simple green actually was cutting this pretty good. If I'd have sprayed more on it, we'd be good or we'd be better. But the black magic bleach white um, is gonna do real good. This is what used to be Westies. We all known to love for years and years. Um, it's gonna make a mess of the body again, but that's all right. Let's just get her soaking. White wall cleaner. It's the greatest. I've used it for years on everything. Cleaning tires, whether they're white walls or not. I just got a bucket with some water in it and a cruddy brush. And we'll just go after this. Can we just do half so you can see the difference? Should be able to see that. Well, I get it all clean, we'll soak it with armor. I'll let it sit outside in the sun for a couple days. That'll be pretty good. So uh, you should be able to see that difference, right? Look at that, it's clean right up. Be acceptable. All right, let me finish him. I'll bring you back. All right, we got that seat clean. We just got the left side. I almost called it driver's side, but on this, it doesn't matter. You drive it on either side. So let's uh, arm roll it. Well, this says son of a gun. I don't know really what's in it, to tell you the honest truth, because I get the refills. <clears throat> so let's uh, get her oiled up. It's getting hot out, though. It's like, uh, I don't know, low 90s right now. We're gonna rub this in with our hands. Okay. If you do it with a towel, then your towel absorbs most of your product. This way, the areas that are dry that really want to soak it in get that opportunity. Doesn't hurt your hands any. All right. And it can sit out here in the sun and soak her in. What do you think? All right, there it is. Both seats are done. Well, done for the moment. Will they get reupholstered one day? Yeah, probably so. I think this uh, cart, like I've mentioned on previous videos, probably a keeper for me. And uh, we'll get her painted this winter or something. 
um, I would I would venture out to say I might upholster those seats. I'm okay at it. I'm not great at it. But you know, if the rest of the cart really turns out special, we might just go get a pro to do it. You know what I mean? But it's looking good. Looking real good. Um, I got the body a little dirty cleaning the seats, but you know what? That uh, comes with territory. We'll give her a wipe down with some furniture polish or something here. Pretty soon, we'll let that kind of cook in the sun. Um, give those seats a little oil, you know, in case they sit out a little bit of weather or something. They'll uh, take it. So, gang, uh, I think we're going to end this video here. And we'll move on to the next chapter on this golf cart somewhere down the road. Um, for now, thanks for watching. Appreciate the comments. Give me a thumbs up on the way out the door. We'll see you guys on the next video. And uh, the uh, Toro Golf Master, 1967. Um, definitely hanging on to this one. It's be kind of a long-term project for us. And uh, you'll see it in the future. Catch you guys later.